More lace pool. Okay. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I changed it up a little bit. Last shop, backdrop, vanity. But yeah. It is Vlogmas. Vlogmas. And I'm waiting for my client to get here. So I'm about to film her getting her makeup done. And I also have another appointment at 5 o'clock. So yeah. I'm just showing y'all how I look. Because I'm probably going to do my makeup today. I just did like this wig video. So stay tuned for that. I'm just waiting for my client to get here. So I will see y'all when my client gets here. Alright you guys. So this is my client. And as you can see, she has a nice, uh, clean, fresh face. And I'm just having a conversation about um, the goal and the look we're going to achieve today. So let's get started. So I'm just prepping her face and um, priming it with some Milani Rose Brightening um, Oil. And I'm taking a Real Technique brush. I don't know the brush name, but I'm just taking that and patting that um, so her skin can take, that, uh, take all of that in. And um, blending that nicely into her skin. So moving on to her eyebrows, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown, and I'm starting to brush her eyebrow hair so they're nice and straight. And then I am gonna start filling them in. I like to start making um, small, hair like strokes in the front and then uh, fill the tail in as I go and um, I use, I do like to do this lightly um, I do spend a lot of time on the brow so I'm doing this lightly um, but I'm filling in all of the gaps and just like empty spaces where I feel um, can be filled and I do again like I said like to take my time on this I do spend a lot of time on brows because I do like a nice symmetrical brow So moving on, I'm starting to brush out and blend her eyebrows and make sure that all of those hair-like strokes are blended into like her front hairs um, just so they're not harsh and look or appear dot-like. So I'm just brushing those out so they're nice and blended. And then I also did go back in with this NYX, um, NYX pencil. I don't know what it's called, but it's like the double-sided and I'm just darkening like toward the tail of her eyebrows um, just to give it that more ombre effect. And I always have a good time with my clients, honey. So you know we had to get some laughs in. We're just chatting it up right here. So now I'm starting to conceal her eyebrows and I'm taking my MAC, um, I have MAC palettes, MAC concealer palettes. Um, if you know, you know. I'm taking this shade in like the dark MAC concealer palette. Um, I'll try to list it in the description below here. And I'm just taking that to conceal her um, eyebrows. And I am taking my time with this as well. I'm using a Wet n Wild concealer brush. Um, it's only 99 cents, but I do like this brush to conceal, and I do like to pull that concealer down um, toward the lid of her eyelid, and um, eventually I'm going to blend all of that out um, under her eyebrow and on her eyelid um, so I can start that base of her eyeshadow. So after spending some time getting the brows how I want them, I'm going to start blending out the concealer under her eyebrows and um, just spreading that concealer around 
to try to stretch it as far as I can. I do like to utilize um, all of the product I'm using. So I'm just blending that out um, as far as it can go, but still making sure everything is covered. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this P. Louise base and dab it onto my brush and blend it, start blending it into her eyelid. And I'm just gonna dab that right on and then I'm gonna blend it out after with a beauty sponge. Um, I'm just going right on top of that concealer with that base and making sure it blends right into the concealer. Um, this is a really nice base for making sure that your eyeshadows look as pigmented as they can look. So I'm just blending that right in um, right before I start her shadow. So the eyeshadows that I'm using is out of my Morphe Dare to Create Artistry palette. And um, this is a mixture of two darker brown shades. I don't know the shades of them, um, but I am just taking two mixes of darker brown shades out of that palette and starting to blend that into the crease of her eyelid. And um, I'm doing that with a fluffy brush from Sonia. I don't know how to say her last name. Sonia K. And <laughs> you usually see her brushes at like Target or something or Walmart. But I'm just using one of her brushes to blend that those brown colors into her crease. And I am building those colors, um, those brown colors up just a little bit. I don't want it to be too dark, but I do want it to build up enough to show. And then I am going in um, with this like orangey shade out of the same palette, just to give it a little bit of a transition out of that harsh dark color. And I'm going right underneath the brow area um, on top of where I blended the brown color and I am gonna go back in with that brown fluffy brush and just kind of blend that out a bit. So now I'm taking a couple of more darker brown colors and just building that on top. I am taking that same fluffy brush that I used to do the first two browns and I'm just gonna keep blending that out until it is nice and like gives a nice blown out look. Um, because I am using dark colors, but I do not want them to appear too dark. So I'm just buffing it out so it can still give off a nice brown, but still not be as harsh. And I'm just making sure I keep up with my brows as I go along. But anyway, moving on, I'm going in with a more darker color, more of a black color. And this actually is the black color out of my um, James Charles palette, Morphe James Charles palette. So I'm just going in with that black color. But again, um, even though it is the black color, I'm going to be buffing this out so it doesn't even look like I use black in there. And I'm mixing that in with that brown and transition color. So again, it gives off a nice... Uh, blown out look so now I'm taking the P. Louise white base and I'm starting to cut her crease with um, a random brush I really don't even think that's a concealer brush but I'm taking that and starting to cut her crease and I do have a lot of product on this brush so I'm trying to take my time and I'm just cutting the crease and I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and end up blending out that base and then after I blend out the base I am gonna go back in with those fluffy brushes that I use for the brown shadow and just kind of again blend it all into each other and create that blown out effect and I'm not doing a full crease I'm not creating a full crease I'm just kind of doing like a half of a crease so I can um, eventually just like create that ombre effect underneath her glitter So right here I am blending in some white shadow over that white base 
And I'm also doing like cleanup work at the same time. So on that brush right there, I have like a little bit of that brown shadow just to keep that white base and that white shadow um, cleaned up in that, in that crease line. And I am essentially blending them into each other. Um, and you have to take your time with this to create that ombre effect. But right here, I am taking a nude color, um, kind of like nude off-white, and I'm just blending that into the middle of where the dark and the white meet, just to create that transition. So now I'm taking a little bit of my Duo Lash Glue, and I'm brushing that lightly over the top of her lid because I am about to apply some glitter. Um, so I'm just taking light strokes of that over her lid. And the glitter I'm gonna be using is from J. LaRue Cosmetics. And it's um, a chunky glitter. I'll have it linked in the description box below because I don't know the name. Well, I do, I just don't remember. But it's so pretty. It's a chunky like blue, it has like blue and pink and like turquoise in it. I'll, I'll have a better um, angle of it. But I'm just applying that right over the glue that I applied on her lid. And it's a chunky glitter. Um, I didn't want it to be too much glitter on her eyelid. So I'm just patting it lightly um, and it still looks like a lot. And then I'm just filling in a couple empty spaces. And then I'm going in just with another J. LaRue Cosmetics. It's a silver glitter right over give it a little bit more of a pop. So now I'm starting to do her eyeliner and um, I do like to take my time for this part. I'm starting slow at the inner corner and gradually going up to create that cat eye effect, but I'm not doing a wing liner. I'm kind of just having this eyeliner blended out into her darker part of her shadow. So I am gonna finish this off camera because again, I do like to really take my time with this. So I will come back once her shadow is done because I really didn't get a good angle of it. So this is what it's looking like after the liner is put on and I am gonna go over that with some white eyeliner. Um, Again, I didn't get that side because I was blocking the camera. But I'm touching up that black eyeliner and then I am gonna take some white eyeliner and just go right over the top of her black eyeliner. Um, that does give the whole look, um, you know, a more standout look. So I'm trying to get this on camera. That's why I'm doing it at such a weird angle like that because I was trying to get all this on camera. But the way I needed to do this is I needed to stand directly in front of her. So I didn't want to do that and not get it on camera. So I had to just do that weird angle real quick. But as y'all can see, I am going really slow on this part because this can make this part can really make or break the look if it's not even. So I'm just taking my absolute sweet time <laughs> trying to get this white eyeliner perfecto. So this is what it's looking like after the white eyeliner. It's so cute. And before I move on, I'm just making sure that eyeliner is dry, um, that the glitter is dry, that everything is set in place. Um, so the look stays still and I made a TikTok on this look as well. It is on my slaves by Kiki Instagram So I'm just getting my first little take in So now I'm applying some Juvia's Place foundation and I'm taking two shades and Applying it on her skin in the areas where I feel it needs it. Um, she has really good skin and this foundation is a pretty full coverage foundation So I'm only taking a little bit and with an e.l.f. foundation brush, I'm just going to buff that into her skin um, to where it's nice and blended. With that foundation, I am going to conceal the top of her brows. I didn't want to use the same color I did the under part with, so it wouldn't be too bright. 
I am doing it with the same color foundation. And with my beauty blender, um, I didn't want to blend it out with the brush. I am going to take the beauty blender and blend that foundation in. Um, just adding a little bit more to reach underneath that eye to get it nice and snatched. And then going in with the blender. So right here, I am taking the concealer I did conceal underneath her brows with. And I'm gonna conceal her entire face with that. So I'm gonna take it underneath the eye, on the bridge of her nose, um, on the chin, and then a little bit above the lip and cupid's bow. And I'm just filming the next part of my Instagram video. That flash really helps you see the look a lot better. So I've started the blending process on her concealer. And I'm just going to keep blending and blending and blending until um, her entire face looks even and flawless all around. And I'm just keeping up with her brows in the meantime, um, flicking out that glitter that flew in there and just trying to keep that darkness and that evenness to them. And now I'm starting to bronze her face. I'm taking the Juvia's Place bronzers, double bronzers and the shade Deep Dark. And I'm using both of those colors. Um, I mixed them together. And I am just going to keep buffing out that bronzer again until it's blown into the skin and not um, harshly put in there. You do want to just keep making sure you blend um, the bronzer until it looks like it does have that blown on effect. Next, I'm taking my Sacha Buttercup setting powder and I'm gonna use that to set her face. And I am gonna um, be using my sponge, going back and forth from my sponge to that angled brush that I use to bronze her face. And I'll be going back and forth with both to um, brush that powder off. And then I am just taking um, a couple of my overall blending brushes and just kind of blending all of her face makeup together. So now I'm taking one of my favorite lip liners. This is the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner and I'm lining her lips with that. Um, and I kind of like to put a lot of lip liner because when I do my lip liner, I like it to show. I know a lot of people like to blend and fade it out, but I do like um, a nice line of the lips. So I'm just making that pretty dark on her lips. For the lip color, I'm going in with the shade um, London from NYX. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And I'm just using that. It's 
like a pinkish nude color. So exactly what I was going for. And then I am going right back in with that lip liner. Um, again, just so her lip liner doesn't fade and it stands out. So now I'm going in with my Juvia's Place uh, Hair Win Glow 1 highlighter. And I'm just highlighting the necessary areas of her face. Um, I usually like to do the tip of the nose, the bridge of the nose. Um, the inner eye corner and then I will do a little just a little bit um, on the cheekbones I usually don't like to do a lot on the cheekbones anymore being that more of a natural look is um, more trending and then after I do highlight I like to go back over um, just with like an overall face brush and kind of just blend out that highlighter so it's not so vibrant and harsh So the blush I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me blush. This is in the shade 50. And I like to use it on all type of tones. It's a nice little blush. But this is the final look guys. We're just going over lashes now and I did end up going um, underneath her waterline with some black liner. And this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of this video. I know it was pretty detailed. And she did ask for a couple of beauty marks, so I did just go ahead and throw a couple of those in for her. But I appreciate you guys for watching till the end. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and video, and I'll see you on the next one.